guys, so today I actually have a uh, On The Edge CCG uh, starter deck opening. I have no idea um, the rules or the mechanics to this game, so hopefully um, after I read the rules I'll understand it. I think this is mostly a uh, two to three player game, so it is more than two players. So I don't only have one, but I have seven more. I don't think I need all seven. I guess I'll keep three of them and I'll sell four, sell or trade four if you guys want them. I don't think I need eight. So anyways, I'll just open one for this video. I have no idea what to expect in here. It says there's 60 cards in here and a rule book, I believe. So obviously I'm not going to read the rule book on camera. I'll read that in my own time. But I'm just curious to see what cards are in here. I might open a second one off camera just to see if it's all the same cards. It probably is, but I'm not sure. So there we go, the seal is off. So there, 60 cards and rule booklet. The front side, it used to be $7.95 per deck. I did not pay that much, obviously. $19.94. Now, I think there's several different versions of this. I don't know how many versions, but this is the version I have. I mean, there's nothing that indicates what version it is, really. Okay, so... All really nice. It's all covered up. And it's in here. Okay, so... And I've never seen these cards before. I believe they're from the base set if I had to guess. So I think this is the rule booklet. Yep, they just stick it randomly in between these. So let's quickly go through this I guess. Rules of play, introduction, cards, your turn, ranks, attacks, cranking, I have no idea what that is, effects and abilities and credits. So yes, Pretty old school, just uh, printed in black and white. Whammy. You know, looking at this, it reminds me, this is how I learned Yu-Gi-Oh! when I used to play it back in the day. I don't think I'll find anyone to play this with, so I'll, I'll probably just end up playing with myself. I don't know if that's weird to you guys, but I don't think... I, I've I mentioned that before to someone else, and they didn't think it was weird, so I don't think it really is. Maybe it's just normal. I mean, that's how I um, get make optimal decks, is playing against myself to see what works or not. So I uh, take my time learning stuff. We have... Um, a French name, can't say that at all. Holly Winter. These feel really weird. Like I don't know why. Feels like it's been sla uh, slathered with. I don't know. Like like baby talcum powder, but without the uh, visual damage of it, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, stun gas. Uh, Fabrisa Melors, uh, Boofer J Slice Stick. I need to break this in half. It's too thick. Bull Beater. Uh, ben Feather on Wind. Another Fabrisa. Un unanticipated influence. Alexander Romanowski, Abanobi Famani, Terrors, another Ababo, Abanobi, Angela Reyes, Amok, Gremlins, Stefano Turo, Turoli, Umar Holland, James R. Cartwright, Friends in the Great Men, Burrio, Another James, um, Kunigundi, 
Hemmelsbach, I'm guessing German. Friends in the Arms Burial, Break Bones, uh, Jonah D. Faithful, Friends in the Broken Wing Burial. Uh, I'm not sure how to say that. Aurora Bolt, Oppenheimer Contacts. Okay, these are really hard to pronounce. Uh, Giovanni Mancini, uh, Frank Germain, Psychic sen Sensitivity, Dimitri Vatsavos, Frog Breath, Astral Wisdom, Bitter and Herb, Cherry Robinson, uh, Duro Trench, Dark Aurora Ring, Cyanide Capsule, uh, Concealable Weaponry. Okay, these cards are not staying put. Uh, sensitivity, Weird Radiation, Concealable Weaponry, Crystal, crystal Trap. By uh, Valiant, Wegson, Zipper, Negative Energy, Silver, uh, Deddy, Raw Steamer, Patrol Baboon, uh, Pierre, Malak, Suzier, Patrol Baboon, Pierre, Solgravis, uh, Petro Ruf Rufo, Leif Hardarson, um, Lou Farazi, and Malak Suzier. So that's the starter deck. Thank you for watching.